Shirley Jones focused on her singing career and continued to make guest appearances on television throughout the years, culminating in her hilarious role as Drew's cradle-robbing girlfriend on The Drew Carey Show. I had a great time. I, I did three episodes, and, and, um, and you know, Marion Ross was his, his mother, <laughs> which was hysterical, and, of course, Danny Bonaducci was my son in one of the episodes. After years of battling alcohol and drug addiction, Danny Bonaducci became a successful radio DJ and co-host of the talk show, The Other Half. My career after the Partridge family, <clears throat> high school, obscurity, uh, humiliation, homelessness, drugs, Geraldo, radio, jail, Geraldo, radio, the other half. Thank you. I'll be here all week. And David Cassidy, after an early retirement at the tender age of 24, returned to the live concert circuit in 1991. After critically acclaimed roles in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and Blood Brothers, Cassidy forged a successful performance career in Las Vegas. He plays to crowds of adoring fans to this day. The Partridges themselves never let the spotlight stray from the importance of family. Partridge family was fuzzy and warm and comfortable, and it was a very safe place for a family to meet on whatever night it was on. They were America's favorite family, led by television's ideal mom, who, rather than make the kids turn down the music, sang right along to their favorite tunes. The show was really the family staying together, working together, and uh, um, having fun. Of course, like all real families, the Partridges weren't always in perfect sync. We have a common problem. This is our problem. But in the end, they always manage to strike the right chords. Well, how did your personal conference with Danny go? He is really something else. I know. You know, uh... You are, too. I mean, uh, I never knew what it was like to have responsibilities to kids before. It's not easy. Sure has made me appreciate you a lot more. Well, you are a little young to be raising four kids. Oh, I'm old enough to handle it, all right. It's just it doesn't leave me enough time to do my homework. <laughs> there was an affection. There was a mutual respect uh, for each other. And there was a sense of humor. All of them, really, in one way or another, right, had the ability to laugh at themselves. And that's not a bad thing, really, to, to hold up as an example, to, to teach people. It's that timeless humor that keeps the Partridge family laugh track rolling to this day. We got to know each other as people and not just brothers and sisters and mother. That's what made the show so interesting, and I think interesting even for people to see today because we had problems, but we stuck together. We were a family. The amazing thing about all these shows, uh, that they go on forever. I mean, they seem to. The one that part of time was, what, 30 years ago? 30 years ago. And they're still running it. What's good is good and will always be good. It's that something just works. And how cool would it have been as, as a kid to travel around with your family and sing rock music in a band? I mean, it was sort of like a fantasy that you could almost relate to in a way. You used to watch the Bradys, but you used to want to be a Partridge. I think the Partridge was a, a fine family role model. I, yeah, I don't think it's incredibly believable, but uh, I, I think it represents the American family, if not as it is, certainly as uh, some of us would like it to be.